Hey everyone, Stephanie here with Two Pair Designs. We're going to start a new series. Um, at least every other Thursday, we're going to be doing video tutorials here in Photoshop. Um, please head over to our Facebook page if you'd like, facebook.com forward slash two pair. Let us know what video tutorials you would like to see because we want to make sure that we're putting uh, relevant information out there that um, is helpful to you and interesting to you as well. So we'd love to hear feedback from you on that. Um, once again, that was facebook.com forward slash two pair. Today we're going to start with creating our own workflow actions. Now I know there are a lot of creative actions out there. Um, many of you are probably familiar with um, a lot of the action companies out there that photographers use. Um, and that's all great and you can also create your own creative actions, your um, editing portion of it. But today I'm going to go with something that's um, just a little bit simpler and is helpful to me whenever I'm resizing images for the web or for an online gallery. Um, I actually don't use online galleries primarily, but I do offer online galleries for families after they've placed their initial order um, at our in-person viewing and ordering session. And this way they can send the link to grandparents or out-of-state family members that may want to order pictures for themselves. And um, most of the time they do end up ordering images and it kind of bumps up that order. It's always nice, but it, I like to keep it simple and it's easier if I create an action to resize these photos for the gallery. So that's what we're gonna do today. Like I said, you can use actions to do nearly anything to help speed up your workflow, but um, I'm gonna use that as just a, a base for showing you how to make an action, create an action. Okay, so to start with, I've got an image open here. Um, we're gonna come on up here to the right-hand side in Photoshop, you'll see this little arrow um, looks like a play button and if you scroll over it, it says actions. We're going to click on that and as you see all of our actions are nice and pretty colored and they look like nice buttons. We don't want it in button mode which is where we're at right now. So I come up to the top right hand corner, a little drop down arrow. We're going to click that and we're going to take it off of button mode because we cannot create an action if it is in button mode. We want to be in this mode where we can edit and alter our actions. To create a new action, we're going to come down here to the bottom part of this panel. You see it looks like a piece of paper with a little corner dog-eared on the bottom of it. We're going to scroll over it. It says create new action. We're going to click that. We're going to give our action a name. I'm going to name this one tutorial. Um, you can create different sets of actions so that you can have them organized more or less. Um, I'm just going to throw this in default action for now. And then click record after you give it a name. Once you're recording, any steps that you take to edit or process this image are going to be recorded until we stop recording. So keep that in mind. Anything you do is going to fall under the action. Okay, to start with, I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to resize my image by automating the size to 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. It's a nice um, size for my gallery. It's actually a little bit bigger than my gallery needs, but it speeds the upload time and keeps it nice. Okay, resized it. I'm also going to convert the profile. I want it to be working RGB so that um, every computer monitor and every browser is going to show the colors accurately. Now, we can come over here and look and see what I've done. I've got tutorial action. First step was fit image and then we converted to the working RGB profile. And I'm actually just gonna stop there. So you see this stop button right here, stop playing or recording, we're gonna stop it, okay? If we come back up here, and we put it back in button mode, we'll see our action right here, labeled tutorial. And if I were to open a new file, open a new file and let's watch this action play. Click on it, resized, perfect. And then we can either save it or save as. You can also run it as a batch. You could also make your action, if you wanted to when you're setting it up, to save and close it as it is. So um, you could run it as a batch through Bridge or through Photoshop and edit or process many images at one time and do the exact same thing to all of them. Anyhow, I hope this has been helpful to you. This was creating your own action. Like I said, you can do anything, but the basics are there.
create your own, build it, and go with it. Thank you for watching.